আসসালামু আলাইকুম एवरीवन আজকে শুরু করার আগে আমি অবশ্যই একটা কোশ্চেন বলতে চাবো সেটা হলো নেভার ট্রাই টু কপি কোড ইফ ইউ রিয়েলি ওয়ান্ট টু বিকাম এ প্রোগ্রামার সো কখনো কোড কপি করে আপনারা প্রোগ্রামার হইতে পারবেন না হয়তো আপনি এখন ইউনিভার্সিটি লেভেলে আছেন এবং আমার এই ভিডিওটা দেখতেছেন কোনো একটা প্রবলেমের সলিউশন খুঁজতে গিয়ে তো এখানে আমি যে কোডটা দেখাবো ভিডিওর শেষে সেটা যদি আপনি দেখে জাস্ট কপি পেস্ট করে বসাই দেন সেক্ষেত্রে আপনি কোনো কিছু শিখতে পারবেন না শুধু শুধু আপনার টাইমটা ওয়েস্ট হবে সো দ্যাট ওয়াজ এ কশন লেটস গেট স্টার্টেড আজকে আমরা শিখব দ্য সলভ অফ বি ক্রাউড ওয়ান এইট ইস এ ম্যাথমেটিক্যাল লেভেল সিক্স প্রবলেম অ্যান্ড উই উইল গেট সিক্স পয়েন্ট সো দ্য প্রবলেম টাইটেল ইজ ন্যাচারাল সাম ইন দিস প্রবলেম we see a problem that our user will put two values x and y that will be uh, saved as x y or a b whatever so apnara apnader kaaj ta hobe je oi a theke b porjonto joto gulo shongkha ache prottekta shongkhar jogphol amake hocche program er madhye dekhate hobe and ekhane ekta somoshya hocche je b er je range সেই রেঞ্জটা অনেক বেশি বড় দেওয়া আছে দ্য রেঞ্জ ইজ টু মাচ বিগ আমরা জানি আমাদের প্রোগ্রাম বা আমাদের যে অনলাইন জাজ আছে তারা এক সেকেন্ডে টেন টু দি পাওয়ার এইট পর্যন্ত টেন টু দি পাওয়ার এইট সংখ্যক কেস স্টাডি করতে পারে বা হচ্ছে টেন টু দি পাওয়ার এক্স টেন টু দি পাওয়ার এইট সংখ্যক লাইন এক্সিকিউট করতে পারে এর যদি বেশি হয়ে যায় সেক্ষেত্রে হচ্ছে আমাদের অনলাইন জাজ একটা কিল কোড সাবমিশন সাবমিট করে এবং জাস্ট টিএলই ইরোর একটা দিয়ে দেয় টিএলই হচ্ছে টাইম লিমিট এক্সিকিট এক্সিটেড তো এই ইরোরের কারণে হচ্ছে আমাদের প্রোগ্রাম আর অ্যাকসেপ্টেড হয় না তো এই প্রোগ্রামটা করার দুইটা ওয়ে আছে দেয়ার আর টু ওয়েস ওয়ান ইজ ইউজিং লুপ অ্যান্ড অ্যানাদার ইজ ইউজিং আ ফর্মুলা অ্যান্ড ইফ ইউ সলভ দিস প্রবলেম ইউজিং আ লুপ ইউ উইল গেট আ টিএলই ইরোর কজ ইন আ লুপ ইফ the our user input the number 10 to the power 9 as the value of b our program has to execute 10 to the power 9 plus plus lines to ex um, to get the result actually so there is a lot of work and this huge amount of work cannot be done in one second so our uh, online judge will execute um, will um, vary or will execute a kill code and our program will give a tle error so we have to learn the formula of this uh, problem so let's get started we will discuss two problems from where uh, the first problem our user will input two uh, let me take the pen our user will input 2 as the first value and 9 as the second value uh, here i want to mention that uh, in the problem set there is said the first value is always less than the second one okay so we don't have to worry about sorting the values so let's uh, move forward if our user has an input of 2 and 9 the series will be 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so this is the series and we have to calculate the sum of all of these numbers in the series and now if we do this sum mention manually what will be the answer let's see in our calculator that is if we add 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 if we do this we get answer 44 so 2 to 9 if we uh, make them uh, if we added them we get again 44 here the answer have to be 44 so as a programmer you have to solve this problem with program not by hand because we don't uh, work so much we are so lazy we programmers are lazy our programs work for us so let's try to understand what is the formula behind uh, to know the formula or to understand the formula you have to follow some steps then step one see I have 
how many digits I have I have to determine that so from uh, here I can see one two three four five six seven eight I have eight digits in total in my series from two to nine so um, I cannot cal calculate this manually uh, though I can but it will be a lengthy process I have to use a formula and what is the formula to um, calculate the number of terms in a series the formula would be uh, subtract subtract this first number from the last number and then add 1 this would be the formula so in this case let me erase it in this case I have the value 9 which is the maximum value is stored in Y and the value 2 which is the minimum value in the series is stored in X so if I want to apply the formula here the formula will be Y minus X and then add 1 with them and we will get the number of terms uh, in the total series so Y is 9 X is 2 and then if we plus 1 what we get what we get is 8 so number 1 finding is that we have to find how many terms are there in our series and in this case in this particular case we have 8 terms then we have to move to our step 2 okay and this was step 1 let me rewrite it step 1 done and now I have to move to step 2 and in step 2 I will um, say something manually then some mathematical equations so the manual work is here look at the series the first number and the last number if you add them uh, like here 9 and 2 9 plus 2 equals to 11 then the uh, second first number if i let me change the color second first and second last number if we add them we get three uh, sorry three plus eight is equals to eleven again if we move forward we you will see that every time while adding two numbers we are getting the result 11 so 4 plus 7 is also add up to 11 and 5 plus 6 also comes as 11 okay so this is the uh, raw format of step 2 that you have 11 for every terms every set of terms okay so the step 2 is add up the last and the first number the last is number 9 first is 2 and then multiply the um, addition with the number of terms in this case the number of terms is 8 okay so the step 2 is actually uh, the step 2 actually is 9 plus 2 into number of terms that is 8 and if we do this we will get answer of 88 okay this is the step 2 this is step 2 in step 2 we have done what we have added the uh, first number and the last number of the series and then multiplied it by the number of terms in this case from 2 to 9 we have total 8 terms so we have multiplied the answer with 8 and we are getting 88 so this was the mathematical term and as a programmer I have to find the universal term that will be just try to remember what is 9 and 2 you know our user had previously inputted these two numbers to us this was the value of x in my case and here you can see x equal to 
and this was the value of y in this case so if i want to um, form a formula from this i can write x plus y that has been taken from my user and then multiply it with the number of terms okay now what is the formula of the number of terms previously i have showed that and let me change the color here is the formula of the number of terms you can see that y minus x plus 1 if we do this we get the formula of the number of terms in a series so we can replace the 8 x plus <coughs> y x plus y and multiplied by number of terms how to determine number of terms you have to subtract the smallest number from the biggest one and then add 1 so we have replaced 8 with this formula and uh, now you can see that we have already made a universal formula but wait our program is not solved yet uh, so let's tr uh, try to understand why by applying this formula we are getting an answer of 88 if you remember we are getting the answer 88 but what was our real answer our real one answer was 44 and we had calculated it through our calculator so how to get the real answer 44 from the answer we got we got 88 so uh, to get 44 we have to divide this whole number with by 2 so divide this whole number by 2 and you will get the answer of 44 if you don't believe me just try it yourself because without trying you won't learn and let's move to another example after this we will move to coding uh, in this particular example we have 0 as the value of x and 9 as the value of y so we have a series where a number starts from 0 and ends at 9 and if I do the um, formula directly here the formula was uh, at first add the two numbers our user gave that is x plus y where x is the smallest number and y is the biggest number then uh, multiply the answer with the number of terms in this case how many terms we have let's calculate manually at first then uh, use the formula uh, in this um, in the series we have 10 terms how 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we have 10 terms and if we calculate this with formula uh, we get y minus x plus 1 if we apply this formula we will get the answer for this equal 10 because uh, 9 minus 1 uh, 9 minus 0 is equals to 9 plus 1 it's 10 so let's move on and the last was I have to divide this whole number by 2 okay uh, divide this whole number by 2 and we will get our correct answer let's determine what is the answer and um, first let's move to calculator and see what the real answer is 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and the answer should be 45 let's calculate using the formula if we are correct or not with the formula x plus y equals to 9 plus 0 multiplied by 9 minus 0 plus 1 divided um, 
let me do this okay let me move this a little and divided the answer by 2 from where we can get 9 times 10 divided by 2 if we do 9 plus 9 times 10 we get 90 divided by 2 and the final answer is 45 so you can see that by using this formula we can solve this problem super easily and this will take so less step than the uh, solution of loop if we use loop we will get so many steps and uh, probably will get a TLE or time limit exited error but now we won't get any kind of error inshallah so let's move to real coding and uh, I have already um, taught you how the formula works now my caution is stop the video here stop it and try it yourself try to code yourself if you can't then come again replay the video try to understand the concept and then retry by yourself and then if you can't then uh, just you can take help from my code so I am moving to my code what is the code In the input the test case contains two integers a and B okay the range is there representing the lower limit and the upper limit of the re project okay and uh, we can see that our maximum number is 10 to the power 9 so let's take not only int but long long int okay long long int variable a and b we took two variables we will uh, add uh, more variables if we need so first declare two variables and scan the values here uh, we will um, sorry percentage LLD LLD is the format specifier for long long integer we will get two values so m percent a m percent b here I have taken two values a and b from my user okay now what to do for each test case output contains one line containing the sum of natural numbers in the range okay uh, so if I um, take my screen half and just for a little help let's move to the formula itself in this formula we are seeing again that uh, let me raise this we're seeing that first we have to determine the number of terms how many terms are there in the series so if we want to declare a variable name num term if we declare this then we can use this so num term is equals to what was that y minus x plus 1 y the biggest number y minus the smallest number x plus 1 plus 1 this is the formula for number of terms okay then in second line we will do the actual math that the and the answer will be stored in a variable called sum so we have to declare the variable sum okay and don't be bothered with this sum is equals to from the formula we can see again if we okay from the formula now we can see that at first we have to know the summation of two numbers the smallest one and the biggest one so let's sum them that is x let's take a bracket x plus 1 and then we have to multiply this we have to multiply 
the answer with the number of terms so with the number of terms we have to multiply then uh, multiply it with num terms see that I have taken the value of y minus x plus 1 in a variable called num term so instead of using y minus x plus 1 I can simply use here the variable name num term okay and the last word is I have to uh, divide this whole answer by 2 so let's take this whole answer inside another bracket and uh, divide by 2 and this is it we have done our uh, mathematical term and let's now print the value print type we have only uh, what we have here if I take the problem we have only a single uh, line output that is the only digit so we will get a long long integer output so percentage LLD comma we have the answer in the name in the variable named sum and don't forget the backslash n otherwise you will get a presentation error and this should work as usual so let's see the output first here and something is wrong uh, okay x is unclear what is from oh uh, see that I have used x and y but had taken the variable as a and b so let's just replace the variable names from a and b to x and y this was my problem replaced now let's run the code uh, okay I have done something wrong else oh here now I have the variable X and Y so I have to put the values in X and Y not a and B dumb okay X and Y now let's check once manually I don't see any kind of problem now let's run it and it is running so our first input is here 1 and 5 so 1 and 5 uh, 1 and 5 the answer should be uh, 1 and 5 the answer is 15 so rerun it 1 and 1000 here 1 and 1000 the answer should be 500500 and it is what it is so I think my code is working perfectly just rerun it and test the third case also and it is perfectly working so let's copy the code come to my big route just paste it submit it and as usual the problem with Google I have to verify that I am a human and I have to motorcycle again <coughs> verify yes I am verified that I am a human and now, now let's see if my code is accepted or not and my code is being running 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 it is getting running and you can see that my code has been accepted so this was it for today guys I hope you enjoyed my video and if you really like it you can like and share it and do consider to subscribe my channel Thank you so much and I will see you to the next video. If you want any kind of video of on any specific topic, let me know in the comments and I will be trying to make videos on the topic. So now um, this is it for today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.